Where do you think you're going? It's midnight. You have work in the morning. Your boss seemed cold. He said it's going to be your last warning. Babe, I get it. I get that you want to go out and have fun. You know, you're young. You want to explore your horizons. But the amount of times you're going out is really worrying. I'm worried about you. I'm not saying not to go out at all, just take it easy. You know, it's okay to go out once a weekend or on a special occasion, but every day and every night, even though you have work, it's... I can't say it. No, I can't. Alright. It's turning a bit alcoholic. No, I'm not saying you're an alcoholic. I'm saying the amount of alcohol you're consuming and not letting it go out your system before you take another round. It's... It's very concerning. <sighs> Babe. Stop it. I'm not saying that. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. You go out. You go out all the time and get absolutely wasted while I'm here worried about you every night. This time though, I'm not waiting. I will be going to bed at a reasonable time. Don't get me wrong. If you are stuck somewhere or need picking up, I will, but I'm not going to worry about you. I've, I'm all out of worrying. Yeah, have a good night. Well there. And good morning to you too. Water's on the counter there. You, uh, you're gonna need it. I also made you breakfast. No, no, nothing's wrong. I had a very good sleep. Mm-hmm. What? I told you. It's nothing. I, uh, hope you had a good night. I saw the photos. <laughs> yeah. Even that one. Oh, uh, you don't need to go in today. Because your boss called. He was about to fire you, but I reassured him that you were ill, and this time there was nothing you can do about it. So he gave the benefit of the doubt and gave you one more chance, which means I just lied to your boss to cover your ass. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> Babe, I love you.
love you. I always will. But I am just so tired of you going out late and coming home early in the morning, seeing you in that state every day. It really saddens me. I don't mind you going out on the occasion, you know. I do too. I love going out drinking. But this, this is starting to get worrying. And I hate to do this, but if this carries on, I don't think my heart can take it. I'm saying that maybe we should rethink about this and maybe we should be apart from each other for a while. I know, I know, but I think for your sake and for my sake, this is the right decision. I just need some time. I want to go a few days without worrying what's happened to you. So, I just need some time to myself to gather my thoughts and see if I can work through this. So, I'm gonna stay with my mum and just think, just think about our future. Is, is that okay with you? Give me some time. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll pack my things then. Oh. Hey. Yeah, it's, uh, been a few days. Oh, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. All right. Come on in. So, how have you been? Oh, really? You've stopped drinking? Well, that's great. So, is that why you come round? Oh, you want to apologize? <laughs> I, uh, I need to see action and words, if you know what I mean. Babe, I love you. I always will, and I want what's best for you. And I get it, you regret what you are doing, and for that, I think if you can prove by your actions, then the words that you are truly sorry, then I think we can 
pick up where we left off. I'm sure. Really? You want... You want couples therapy? That... Sounds nice. And... It will... Give... Me an opportunity to... Figure out... My... Issues. Because... These past few days... I was thinking, and maybe there was something wrong in both of our point of view, and I think I wasn't an a supportive boyfriend than I thought I was, so yeah, couples therapy. I think it will be the best for both of us. <laughs> Do you want to start tomorrow? Great. Um, shall we go home then? <laughs> I miss you too. Yeah, let's go home.